Want to master your video production? Me too. Let's learn how. Different video. I do these once in a while just to shake things up and give people something to argue about. I'd like to thank Basic Filmmaker University, a place to learn the basics of filmmaking, for sponsoring this video. You see what I did there? Let's talk about mastering your videos, gear, editing, anything really. If you think you've got this all down, then go watch something else, there's nothing here for you. If you want to learn how to master your craft, or anything for that matter, grab a cup of joe, relax, and learn something about learning something. This will be a longish video with a lot of talking, and I'm not going to apologize for the one minute attention span challenged. If you pay attention, you'll learn something. Remember learning how to drive? You learned about it, then had someone with you to make sure you didn't smash into a wall or something, and kept doing it until you now drive without even thinking about it. There are literally hundreds of actions you do just to get your car ready to go to the destination you're going. If you don't believe me, grab a pen and paper and do it yourself. Decide where you're going. Get body out of chair, stand up, find keys, walk to garage, find garage open button, press button to open, walk to car, grab handle, open door, place body into driver's seat, close door, find seatbelt strap, pull seatbelt, find seatbelt connector, click seatbelt into place, find brake with foot, press brake, find car starter, press to start car, find rear view mirror, adjust if necessary, find left mirror, adjust if necessary, find right mirror, adjust if necessary, find shifter, press shifter button, shift in reverse, look behind and see if clear. I haven't even moved yet, did 30 actions, and before those actions had to learn the car itself, where everything is, how to use it all in concert with each other. If you added up everything you do to drive somewhere, it's literally tens of thousands of actions you learn to perform, and as I said, if you don't believe me, break it down for yourself. The aspects of learning this stuff are the same as learning how to drive, which are as follows. 1. Having a purpose to learn it. 2. Learning the theory about it. 3. Practicing these things until you don't have to think about it. 4. Now learning and mastering the art form. That applies to learning anything, and most people dive in at number four, learning the art, and bypass numbers two and three. If you want to master something, and you got to decide to put in the time to learn it, and if you don't, then you'll never master something. Most get disappointed or give up when they can't create great video, great audio, or edit, when really they didn't know, didn't care, or just blew off steps two and three. That's the basics of learning anything about anything. In our learning to drive example, you wanted to master how to get from point A to point B using this thing called a car for enjoyment, job reasons, or whatever. You had a strong purpose for doing so. Let's take your camera for example. One, purpose. Decide on or adopt a purpose for learning the camera. You probably already started there, such as maybe you want to make YouTube videos. Just remember when your purpose gets thwarted in some way, it probably happened on the following steps, two and three, and then you start making excuses like, really didn't want to do it in the first place. Sometimes that's true, most of the time it's not. Two, theory, learning everything about it. Watch videos, take courses, read the manual. A major failure I've seen is having the darn thing in your hands. If you're gonna learn about tractors, then for all that is holy, have a tractor in front of you. Sitting there and consuming a two hour long video course on how to use a camera without the camera in your hands is silly. It's okay to do that, then come back later with your camera in your hands and rewatch. But let's leave that fill your brain with information that you'll never be able to apply to other failing educational systems. And a word of warning when learning something. Those terms you don't really understand are a mind killer. It's up to you, no one else, when you see the term white balance or aperture or shutter speed to go find out what it's all about. Wikipedia is not where you go. Find somewhere or someone who can explain these things simply. Look, here's the basics of white balance. Your eyeballs immediately adjust to any environment it sees. The camera does not. It needs to be told what is white and black so it can determine how the color looks. So, when you see this yellow stuff, your eyes adjust, the camera doesn't know and doesn't care. So you tell the camera what it should see by setting the white balance in the camera. That's it. When you're more skilled, you can come back later and learn all the technicalities of white balance, but if you don't know what I just described, your shots will look terrible. I cannot stress enough the importance of your responsibility of finding and understanding simply what these terms and things mean. Three, 
practical drills. Or let's call this practice. I cannot count the number of times I hear a person complaining about how long it takes to make a video or how they can't seem to get good looking video and they mess it up or they need a new camera or whatever. I usually dive in and ask something basic like, show me how you set the white balance on your camera. Uh, well, let's see, menu, no, that's something else. Here it is, uh, no. Yeah, then you go through here, no, here, no. It's somewhere and there it is, yeah. I, never mind, I just keep it on auto as it's easier. I immediately know they don't know how to use the tool. They don't know how to use the camera don't know what applies to what and like driving a car they never get out of the garage blaming the camera themselves or whatever they're missing on steps two and three there's nothing wrong with grabbing that new camera and just going out and shooting stuff but if you want to master that camera which comes before mastering the art of shooting you need to know it and practice it if i were going to train you on the use of a camera i would do this First, get the person over the intimidation of handling the camera itself. Have them handle it, inspect it, toss it around, pick it up, flip switches, press buttons, do wacky things with menus and everything else until they're comfortable handling the camera. If they're not comfortable handling the camera, there will always be this unknown nagging intimidation in the background. So we nuke that first. Then I would have them point out all the things on the camera. Point to the hot shoe. Nah, th that's right here. You can mount mics and stuff on it, but don't worry about that for now. Point to the hot shoe. Good. Turn the camera on. Good. Locate the battery door. Okay, that's on the bottom here. See that? Okay, show me the battery door. Good. Now open it. Good. See how the camera turned off? This is the recording card. Press and remove it. Good. Now insert the card again and see that the camera turns back on. Cool. Move this on off switch to movie shooting. Excellent. Press the menu button. Cool. Touch the OK button on the screen. Good. Touch format card. Good. Touch OK. Good. Press the menu button twice. Excellent. I'd keep doing this, maybe even construct a checklist and go through it over and over until the person had no hesitation or didn't falter from beginning to end. Sound terrible? Tedious? Too time consuming? It would take about an hour or three, but the result would be someone confident about where everything was in the camera, how to get there, no hesitation on what things are, where they are located, how to get to them, and like driving a car, don't have to think about it. An hour or three up front saves the persons hundreds of hours in the long run, and more importantly, they are confident in themselves and the camera. Now they can learn what all these things do and how to use them. If you look at your camera right now and you're wondering how to do something or don't know, or you see these buttons, even one, and you don't know what it does, you have not mastered the tool, the camera, and will be forever fumbling around or missing out on how to get what you want. Learn how to drive the camera without having to think about it. Then you can apply yourself fully to step number four. The same for lighting, the same for audio, and so on. Four, mastering the art. This is where you have arrived through practice, learning, drilling, relearning, learning more shooting, more messing up, failing until you can handle that camera well enough to concentrate on how to get cinematic or action or interview or green screen or whatever you want to do, shots. Now you can learn something and not be fumbling around with the tools. So what is being talked about, the art, will make sense. There's nothing wrong with going through these steps over and over, and you will. When you get that camera, drone, whatever, you want to know how to turn it on and go out and shoot something. Learn that, practice that, get good at that. Now how to shoot in different modes, maybe manual mode where you set up everything about the camera. Learn that, get good at that, and practice that. As you learn, your eyes open up to even more stuff you don't know, so it's shampoo, rinse, repeat, steps one through four. The same applies to microphones, audio recording, lighting, camera movement, video editing, set design, and everything us one-man band filmmakers need to do or want to do. You will constantly do this as new technology and better ways of doing stuff happens year after year. Okay? Okay. Here's the best way I know to learn about anything.
make a video on it. It doesn't matter if you use your phone, your camera, or whatever. You can make these videos for others later or just post the things. Who cares? But for the most part, these videos are for you. When you have to make a video describing a piece of gear, a microphone, a camera, an audio recorder, lighting, how aperture works, cooking, welding, woodworking, whatever, you force yourself to learn everything about it and you force yourself into making it understood. It doesn't have to be well shot or look good, but this is the best way I know how to really learn how something works because if you can't show it and explain it simply, you don't know it well enough. And you'll learn so much about your equipment while doing it. The YouTubers you respect and admire, Dave Dugdale, Curtis Jubb, Caleb Pike, Film Riot, hopefully myself, the list goes on and on for the most part, did not one day jump out of bed and start making videos to teach you about how things work. Over the years, they have done numerous videos, even developed courses on cameras and lighting and sound and shooting and color correction and video editing, you name it. They had to really dig in and learn about the things they've been teaching you and deliver that into a format you could understand, which is why they are so knowledgeable about these subjects. I suggest you do that too, as you'll learn more about the subject you are trying to learn than you could ever imagine. For example, who has been my go-to audio guy? Curtis Judd. Been doing audio and sound for 12 plus years and really knows what he's talking about. He has helped me and others more than you could imagine on upping their sound and audio, making correct equipment buying choices, and just being a good all around guy. I have taken the courses he's offered, which has helped me move my sound and audio from yuck to meh to sounds good to something which I am very proud of and getting better all the time. I was so impressed that you'll see a new audio course by the man himself appearing over at Basic Filmmaker University in the next week or two. If you can apply what I've given you here, there is nothing you can't learn and eventually master one step at a time. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. For example, who has been my go-to audio guy? Ha, ha, ha.